Mr. Kevin, it's good to be back here because the other time I came here, this place was empty space. Now is a farm. How is life, sir? How are you? Oh, we've been extremely busy, but um, I, I owe it to my employees. They, they're doing the heavy lifting. I'm just, you know, financing and giving guidance, but uh, they're doing 90% of the work. You know, buying, paying for everything is minor. But this is going to be an outstanding farm. I mean, we have, uh, right now, I think I estimated we're only using 20% of the farm. So we still got 80% uh, of stuff to eat with snail pens and grow additional vegetables. So, And we are, are signing contracts to, to sell future vegetables also to people. So uh, it's growing and we're clearing land. Um, I mean, it, it's, it's changing daily. So, um, I, I mean, I've got, I mean, the views here is beautiful. I can't wait to move out here permanently. The uh, reason why I hadn't moved yet is ECG hadn't turned my electric on. So we're working on that. So hopefully the next week I will be officially out here full time. So. so looking back, like from last year when you first started, when you came to Ghana and you had this in mind, will you say that it is fulfilling? Is it did that dream coming true? Oh, oh yes, we uh, uh, we plan. I planned it out for. Um, I projected out to uh, three years, and we are executing the plan. I mean, it is slow. We had a couple of slowdowns because of permits and water, but everything has been resolved. And uh, this is going to be a, a, I hate the word, a dynamic uh, opportunity for us and other people. You know, my employees, and and also right now today, we had uh, uh, friends from America who do donated money. So we can do give uh, over uh, 400 cabbages to orphanages and other people. So I'm waiting for them to come now and we can continue to give cabbage away that's been paid for by, by Americans right now and Ghanaians. You know, so some people donated money from Ghanaian too so we can buy cabbages. So, I mean, this is, this is a, I'm, I'm really elated as far as what we have done and in the plan, you know, so the primary purpose of this farm is snail farming. And right now I'm getting bids to build a snail pen, so that's coming, you know, so hopefully by January, February, we will start uh, uh, farming snails and for snail slime. Okay. You know, last year when I interviewed you, the greatest concern of most Ghanaians and even myself was the staffs how are you going to manage human resources how is that now now that you actually now that you finally have that happening how is it like working with Ghanaians as staff well i have uh four Ghanaian managers here on the farm one pacific farm manager and they issue the task to the workers and i i hold them accountable and like i told them I, you know i get a point where i tell them specific things i said look it ain't personal but I said, I don't like repeating myself. I make short sure employees write stuff down so I ain't got to repeat myself. And I hold them accountable. I said, if I'm paying you well, which I'm paying the Ghanaian workers three times more than what the average Ghanaian is making, mm. I expect work. Maximum results. Yeah, yes, definitely. So they all understand that, you know, uh, you, you know, you take your breaks and go back to work. So uh, they understand it's hard work, and uh, he said I have women and men farm workers. I don't uh, differentiate between the work that a man does and a woman. Work is work. Okay. And I know okay. women have lim uh, yeah. physical limitations; they can't lift everything, but they can contribute. You know, like okay. if we get a truck full of, of of chicken manure, then they can get a shovel and load it as well. They may not load as much, but they can they can do that as well. So. Um, I, I, I think it worked out, you know, and like my employees get three meals a day, uh, they get free housing, and because uh, we're not at the farm yet, I provide transportation from Mafinia to the farm, you know, I pay, we pay for that as well, so, I mean, all they can do is work, and um, they get good meals, and we, we treat them fair, and like next year, I want to pay for medical, uh, you know, eye care, dental, you know, um, you know, then we're going to pay for time off and vacation. Right now, we only pay for a bereavement, you know, death in the family. But starting next year, they'll get vacation. They'll accrue vacation and sick time. So I want to basically run this like, you know, like American company somewhat, you know, because we want to treat the employees well. Like I said, if they treat, treat the employees well, they should treat me well, you know. So Good result. Yeah, like uh, this Friday, I said every employee can take a cabbage home, you know. I mean, they can, you know, give to their family or feed themselves, whatever, you know. 
And uh, it's something that give back because um, the main thing is we shouldn't have to go to market and buy anything. And let's say about three months, we're going to grow carrots, okra, garden eggs, bell peppers, habaneros. We got maize. You got two, three maize fields. We got different type of maize growing here. Mm. We got some sweet corn from America. Um, Ghanaian local corn. And um, it's just a honey sweet corn. So we want to grow what we eat, you know. And then um, I'm getting a chicken coop. Uh, down here where we're going to free range chicken inside this fence area so that um, uh, employees can take eggs home. We're not selling eggs. We're okay. just going for the, to for the employees. Okay. So at the end of the week, if we got an extra hundred eggs, then employees can take home free. Okay. You know, so. Somebody is going to see this video. A Ghanaian youth out there will be asking, Sir, please, do you have vacancy for me? No vacancies, no vacancies right now, not at the moment, until next year when we, as we grow, we have, as I was saying, we only using 20% of the farm right now. right now, so by next year as we expand, we, 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 we need more employees, but we got to, the, the uh, farm has to be self-sufficient as far as income, so we can grow and hire more employees. Because if you walk past, there's this stuff that ain't, ain't even touched that we have to start, take, you know, doing. So and it's going to take more employees and, um, you know, and, and, and money to pay them. You know, so we're going to do that as well. So. <laughs> All right, so thank you for coming on the channel again. Thank you for inviting me over. Yeah. So you are living the African dream. Yeah, well, my dream, I came here as retired uh, Air Force Master Sergeant. I'm retired from the federal government as well. And I, I said, I, I, I have my health. Uh, I lost 120 pounds since moving here. So uh, that's a whole person. <laughs> and, I, I, and I have to stay busy. And I said, what can I stay busy to help myself and help Ghanaians and help my family uh, in the United States. And I said, this is what I, I dreamed. First, I was going to just do two acres and do some uh, 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 Airbnb. But I said, well, I need to think further than that, you know. So in this way, I can hire more people and, um, and take care of them, you know. So um, that's the game plan. You still have the same thing to say. Last year, I asked you, do you advise anybody who want to move back to Africa to do? Do you advise? I, what do you think they should come with? Well, what they come here with a game plan. Don't come here looking for a job because coming from America, we cannot live on fifty, a hundred, one hundred fifty, two hundred dollars a month. You know, you can go out in America and eat in one meal and spend three hundred dollars. So you can't live. Even you, you know, you can say you can lower your standards or quality of living and and spending, but you can't live like that here. Come here with a business plan because it's agriculture. Everyone has to eat. So if you if you specialize in red peppers, I got a contract selling uh, habaneros to Germany. So so we can do five acres of habaneros. So it will generate money, and then I can subsequently I can hire more employees. So I'm looking forward to hiring local employees because I. If I don't hire local employees, I have to have more housing, mm -hmm. and and it's cheaper to hire local people. Okay. Who, you know, right now we use temporary workers from local. Okay. And and I told uh, uh, my managers here to uh, really look at how they their work ethics, so that um we can um hire them if we, if we had to hire more people first. Let's hire the people we know they work hard. You know, they're working. So we got four temporary employees we use periodically. So at that point. We are, um, we'll hire them if we got to hire more people, so. Okay. Okay. A lot of people have been asking, like, where is my friend, Mr. Kavit? So you have a YouTube channel and they don't know. Tell them. It's, uh, it's still called Zelda's Business, a YouTube channel. And uh, it, it's, it's growing slowly. And uh, But I, I'm okay. At least I, people share. I'm sharing a vision. Like, uh, I'm going to put some photos on Facebook and uh, Instagram for our show and the progress from the empty. Uh, I have a two-container home here. Is a three bedrooms, uh, two bathrooms, uh, four air conditioning. So, uh, reason why I had to move in yet because uh, waiting for like I said, ECG to turn on the power. Mm. So once that's done, then um, oh, I'll be out here. So and then like this can not, cost you for how much? Thi this okay. here, mm. I, I'm talking about a single person can get a one one container home okay, or small smaller one. Than this. Smaller than this. Smaller than this. Yeah. These are two forty footers. You can get okay. one twenty footer for. Uh, a couple and they can live well in that yeah. you know yeah it's a small home because 
I on the other side of the, uh, the back side of the, of the container home, I have a, a concrete pen. I'm gonna enclose that in screen so you can have outside entertainment. Cause basically, when it's, unless it's raining, the weather is perfect here. You know, it's, it may be hot, but you can shade yourself from the sun so you can have outside entertainment. And we're gonna have a burn pit here, so oh. at night, you know, we can entertain. Well, people can stay out here and without mosquitoes eating us up. But um. Yeah, so uh, this is perfect for me. So. There's a question that have always been in my head. I wanted to ask, like, now that it's real, everybody is coming back to their roots. Mm -hmm. Do you people have like a support group where you have Black Americans that give support to those who there's, are coming new? There's plenty of groups here, but um, okay. some I, I I hate to say I don't uh, participate in because uh, uh, people come in here and they want to have this African American only community. Mm. And I said, I, I'm not for that. I, why would I move to Ghana and, 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 and treat the Ghanaians bad? I don't understand that, but that's their group. You know, I don't participate in that. So, I mean, everybody on, the, on this farm is Ghanaian, uh, you know, who work here except me. So, you know, that's not something I want to do, so. You are Ghanaian now. Yeah, uh, this is home. I've been here over two years now, so. So, you are fine. I, mm -hmm. I know you are fine, but I like to ask because a lot of people will be like, Lily, why didn't you ask Kim? Is he okay? Does he, do you, do you miss America? No. No, I, 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 I miss, I have a, my heart is a two-year-old granddaughter I have, Zelda. Uh, I mean, I, I see pictures of her and videos, and I said, wow, I wish I could see her. But uh, I, I, I'm going back to America next year for 30 days. So, okay. you know, but, so you no, I, I don't miss home because I, I think a lot of Ghanaians, uh, probably a lot of Africans, period, want to go to America because they can make more money. But uh, uh, they, y'all have not experienced racism. Uh, it's 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 hidden, but it's not hidden in America. But you know it's there. You can see it's happening. You know, but you know, I, I'll never go back to the live. Never. You know, if I was kicked out of Ghana, I go to S Senegal, Liberia, Kenya. Oh, go kick you out. Yeah, but I said I would never go back. You know, okay. Uh, no. Good. I'm glad. Yeah. Okay. So thank you so much for having me today. And oh, thank, you. thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, so you guys, please, you can follow uh, Mr. Kevin at his channel. I'm going to link it here for those who have been asking so you can easily assess and ask questions. Now, if people want to order for one of the products, I mean, the farm produce, how do they go about that? Well, we have a car where you can add, you know, if you, uh, okay. uh, we have a website. We have my, it's my current my uh, uh, WhatsApp number and... Um, we're selling cabbage right now. We have millions too, also. So we got tomatoes that we harvesting. So uh, as we go on, we're gonna do a red cabbage as well. Mm. So that's it. look for the red cabbage. So now, like I almost forgot to ask, are there any challenges so far about marketing the products, like selling them out mm. because they may perish because they're perishing? We we we'll get, we'll sell on it, but we was uh, ne negotiated with Shoprite. Okay. But they low bought us so much uh, for the cabbage. It's like we, we might as well give it to them free. <laughs> so uh, I, I, I'm not going to do that. You know, okay. I mean, well, they want to give us that price and then almost triple the, what they sell it for at the grocery store. Yes. I'm like, no, no. Well, I kind of want to do business with you if you're going to do that to me, you know, and my workers, you know. So, mm. but we got a, 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 a big buyer coming out here uh, next week. So. Okay. Okay, so people can order from every mm. corner of the city, from yeah. Accra, Kusumbu, and the rest, yeah. and you had them deliver. Well, if, if, of course, if we deliver, of course, there's a fee, or, or we, they can come yeah, out here. Fees, yeah. They can come out here and see the farm, and um, you know, and, and and buy here. We just had uh, right now we have orphanage just coming out here that, that that was donated to them, so they come picking up the cabbage. So, um, okay. yeah. Do you also like? think like um, starting up like a farm market somewhere in the city where you have oh. your products well, actually we doing a, a, a in front of the property we do a signboard where we gonna sell vegetables at oh, the, okay. on the roadside so Where's that, here? Around uh, here on the, on the property and then okay. the roadside on down there when you walk in the property okay, where you so see the sunflowers mm. right behind the sunflowers we're gonna have a little stand there and put a signboard so yeah. so just a matter of time people can always yeah, yeah. get things because there's nothing else around here you know so yeah. the highway is pretty busy so we'll get you know drive through traffic you know okay yeah. uh, okay but just uh, so much work. I'm just waiting for some more. Uh, the, we got some more orphanage coming out, so uh, that, that's it, you know. Okay. All right. Thank All you right. so much okay. for having us. Um, 
so i'm going to link all of this information yeah. down in the description so people who want to buy the fruits i mean the vegetable mm. the watermelon you have a lot of things i'm going to go to the farm right yeah, now, yeah. so i can see yeah. okay so you guys let's patronize our mm -hmm. own made in ghana all right thank you so all much right. did you see the watermelons in there yeah i saw them uh, i saw that, the that's from my farm wow I, i'm hey, so man, proud I, I,